Hi, welcome to my channel, Look 10 Years Younger. I'm almost 47 years old and I talk about all kinds of skincare and healthy aging devices and supplements. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Do Not Age Biological Age Test Kit. So I'm going to explain the science behind it and if you don't want to hear that just skip, I'm going to put the chapters below. I'm going to explain what exactly you get when they send through the results and finally I'm going to give you my conclusion as to whether this is worth it or not. So your biological age tells you how old your body actually is. It's much more accurate than your chronological age which is how many birthday candles are on your cake. How we live leaves biological marks on our DNA known as epigenetic marks and scientists measure a specific mark called methylation so if you've lived in a polluted environment or you'd smoked then this could leave marks which would change the activity of your dna and it could make for example your brain or your eyes age faster than someone with the same chronological age as you. Humans have thousands and thousands of genes and most of them we share they're all the same however one percent of these are different and that's what makes us unique so this test is really looking for that one percent difference and these genetics define how your body works. Now I find this super fascinating because I've got this channel, I'm into healthy eating and skincare and anti-aging, I find it really um, interesting, but I am a little bit nuts to put it mildly. So why would a normal person want to take this test? Well firstly it gives you over 100 DNA reports which are specific to you covering vitamin deficiencies, immunity, gut health, muscle health, mental health, sleep, how you deal with stress, how your body responds to fat, sugars and caffeine. So this can help you to understand how your body functions so you can work with your body rather than going against what it wants to do. You can understand yourself better and improve your quality of life. Secondly, athletes use these tests to take their sport or their training to the next level. So they utilize this very personal information to train smarter, eat smarter, and understand their bodies. The results will explain your capacity for speed, endurance and strength. Thirdly, this will give you an indication if you're susceptible to viruses and flu or IBS or glaucoma or heart disease or diabetes. Knowledge is power and knowing this in advance enables you to change your lifestyle. And finally, if you suffer with weight or with food allergies, this will give you a DNA diet. It tells you exactly how many calories you should consume daily and where they should come from. How you metabolize different food groups, which micronutrients your body effectively metabolizes and which it doesn't. So DNA sent me this test in the post. I should just mention I didn't actually pay for this, but all you have to do is put some saliva into a vial and you send it back to the lab. So I really prefer this over a blood test because you know piercing your skin and blood it's not particularly pleasant so literally you just put some saliva into a little tube and that's it done. So it took six weeks for me to get the DNA reports back and then it took another six weeks to get the epigenetic results back. So I'm now going to run through the results which I got back through their app. So this is the app you get and the lab is called MUDO, M-U-H-D-O. They're the ones who actually do this um, analysis. First of all, the DNA results. This is the hundred different results I spoke about earlier. So, for example, diet, it tells me carbohydrate response is normal, uh, poor saturated fat response, which then you've got health overview. It tells you about caffeine sensitivity, genetic bone mineral density, obesity risk, diabetes risk. Then physical, look at this, muscle power, status above normal, muscle stamina, <laughs> gifted. That surprises me. I mean, I work out uh, and I used to do athletics at school, but I didn't know I was gifted. Then vitamins, which is super interesting. So first of all, it says that I have vitamin D deficiency. Oh, vitamin B12, increased risk there. And the other one was selenium deficiency. I had no idea what selenium is, so it's a... Uh, antioxidant it basically tells you what the thing you're deficient in is and then you go down it gives you a personalized little screen there and it tells you where you can get it from health insights so this there's so much information here so first of all anti-aging so this was a bit 
disappointing with eyes they're saying that my eyes you know it's a slightly faster decline increased risk of glaucoma vitamin d deficiency increased deficiency then it's got gut health and it says i have an increased risk of gut irritability i do get bloating i've suffered from that for years so i do think i'll look into that a little bit more then heart health that's all normal for me but it tells you if you've got any risks there then immunity uh, again it comes back to this vitamin d which it tells me i should be taking and then injury risk it's all normal for me here mental health is this is funny possible workaholic which i guess is true then muscle health normal testosterone levels that's all pretty normal there skin health normal aging what was interesting was the slower glycation so i've made a video about glycation so this is where uh, when you have excess sugar in your blood this binds to the fat and protein in your skin and it gives you wrinkles so I've been making videos about this and trying to stop glycation and that actually says that it's quite uncommon my results because um, it doesn't affect me that much I have superior results so that was nice to know and then sleep it says I'm a night owl I do have issues with insomnia and then stress it's all pretty normal then you have your genetic action plan so here they give you a health plan if if something came up it'll basically tell you about your diet or you know what vitamin deficiencies you have then you've got your epigenetic results right drum roll please this is where you're going to find out my true biological age are you ready yes it's 52.6 so i'm going to be 47 in a couple of weeks so that should actually be 47 here so i'm five years older biologically than i am chronologically so that was a bit disappointing it tells me my eye age is 50 years old my hearing age is 52 which is unhealthy my memory age is 53 which is unhealthy uh, but the really good thing is my inflammation score is perfect so this goes to show i stopped eating seed and vegetable oil and i don't eat dairy so i avoid any inflammatory foods um, around one year ago so it really goes to show that that works if you're worried about inflammation then stop eating these oils and dairy and you can bring that score right down dna diet this is super interesting so they will give you your calorific split for the day with each meal the nutrients you need per day how much sugar and carbs they explain exactly where you're going to get it all from supplements you should be taking how many calories you need per day now you would have to pay a nutritionist quite a lot of money to get this information and that person wouldn't have all your dna results uh, then finally you've got my training so this if you want to you know if you do work out this will give you a workout plan so you basically put your age how many how much time you have to work out in the gym every week and what your goal is and it gives you these little videos it gives you a whole guide it explains what to do which i'm definitely going to use and the final thing is lifestyle tracking so if you've got google what's it called google fit you can sync that and you can count your calories and everything so how much does this cost it's 275 US dollars, 199 pounds or 240 euros. Now I can hear you all saying, how much, what? But if you think about how this test would potentially alert you of any vulnerabilities you may have to diseases, it may improve your quality of life or even save your life or lose weight or excel in your sport or your training, then, you know, 200 pounds is really not that much. Plus I've got a discount code, 10 years, which will give you a saving of those prices I just mentioned. I would say this test is sure to improve your life in some way, um, and at the very least you'll find this super interesting. So my conclusion, what did I think about this? The first thing is I knew myself um, last winter I was taking this Do Not Age uh, vitamin D supplement. So all throughout the winter I didn't get any colds or flu, I was super healthy and normally I get I don't know a cold at least three times during the winter so i made the connection that vitamin d is really important but i didn't realize i was vitamin d deficient 
So how would you know this? If you don't do one of these tests, you're never going to know. So it goes from being useful to know to an essential thing that I have to focus on. So I'm never going to stop taking vitamin D supplementation now I know that my body needs it. I'm already taking multivitamins and I did check that they contain selenium and the vitamin B vitamins which I'm also deficient in so I'm just going to continue taking those. Secondly it mentioned that I would potentially be prone to glaucoma and I've got some relations who um, do suffer from that so it's kind of a wake-up call to me so I'm going to get my eyes checked regularly maybe twice a year for that and I'm also going to restart taking green tea. Thirdly I can clearly see that some supplements my body doesn't need so that's going to save me money in the long run and time as well. And finally, I'm going to start taking another Do Not Age supplement called CAAKG. This is alpha ketoglutarate, and the CA at the start of it means it carries calcium too. It's a naturally occurring compound. It plays an integral part in cellular energy production, collagen synthesis, stem cell growth. Various studies have shown it can reduce biological age when you do a methylation test. So what I'm going to do is take this supplement for a year and I'm going to retake the biological age test and then I'm going to be able to let you know definitively whether this will reduce your biological age because if it can it means we can reverse a lot of this damage that we're talking about. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please consider subscribing as it would really help my channel and please give me a thumbs up. Any questions, please comment below. I'll try to answer them. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.